I'm rolling. Okay, so we'll start with Don's question okay. first. Yeah. What's your favorite part about Houston? The people, bar none. The people here are charming, they're warm. Hey, fun. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's do it. <laughs> What's your favorite part of uh, Houston? I would say the people, bar none. I find them to be warm, neighborly, and there's that down-home feel that Houstonians provide that you can't get anywhere else. And I think that we are evolving into a very classy and sophisticated city, and that's exciting to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Well, you certainly play a major role in that as well. Um, can you tell me what was your first job? My first job, um, I was 13 and a half, and it was in construction and maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, really? town home, yes, surprising. <laughs> the town home community where I lived um, for a summer hired a bunch of the kids who lived there to repaint the garages, retar the parking spaces, to paint the Dominique swimming pool. Knows how to retar? <laughs> I, I can paint and tar like nobody's business. <laughs> so that was thirteen and a half, and I've worked ever since. Who would have known? Who would have known? In fact, my question. My next question was, um, what's something people would be surprised to know about? Well, I think that would be one. Um, you know, my first job definitely catches people by surprise. Um, I also, I adore mm -hmm. photography, and I, as a hobby, enjoy taking pictures, um, especially of people. My children and my family are great subjects. Mm -hmm. But I love seeing life from behind the lens and appreciating and celebrating the beauty and the creativity in that. Wow. Uh, Last inspirational book or article you read? Um, I, I'm currently reading I Declare by Joel Osteen. Oh, I have that book as well. Yes, <laughs> I, I adore um, Joel and his family, and I've read all of his books. And to me, it's a great way to start the day and end the day with those positive words of inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, it gets your head in the right place, and it gives you the right outlook on life. Yes. So and my so, faith is a big part of my life. It's so hard with just news being so heart-wrenching sometimes. Absolutely. And you need that. You need to center yourself and to realize that there is beauty in humanity and in each other. Mm -hmm. uh, describe a lesson learned from a failure. Um, you know, I would, I don't think that there is such a thing as a failure in life. I think that there are setbacks, but in my opinion, setbacks are setups for great comebacks. That there are lessons to be learned in everything that we do, whether it's positive or negative, and they all take you to a new place. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't really say it's a failure. I say I see it as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. It still doesn't feel nice when it happens. No, of course not. Of course not. But it's how you look at it and what you do with it. Uh, what will define your career in the coming year? Hmm. Um, I would say probably my community involvement. It's a big part of what I do. It's it's an elective, it's not a requirement, but I consider myself an active member of this community and I am so proud of the fundraising that takes place here. There are numerous causes, each and every one of them worthwhile, and if I can lend my name and lend my voice to something to help generate more awareness, more interest, more funds raised, then I feel like I'm feeding my soul by doing that. Mm -hmm. I love my job. I love being a news anchor and a broadcaster in this community. And every day, I try to do my job better. I never think that I've reached that point where I can pat myself on the back and say, nicely done. Mm -hmm. There's always room to improve. So I see that in my day-to-day -day life. But really, it's, a, it's expanding everything around that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, can you name a recent project you're not affiliated, affiliated with that has most impressed you? Yeah, you know, I just emceed the other night um, a fundraiser for AVDA, um, and I, I'm hoping I get the acronym right, we can check, but I think it's Aid to Victims of Domestic Abuse. And I didn't really know much about this group or organization, and a woman got up to the podium and spoke about how she was abused by her husband and the pain and the torment that she went through, and how she found this organization and got the resources and help to get herself out of this disastrous situation. And I was so moved by her story and by what this group did that it was eye-opening for me. It was wonderful to be affiliated with it, but learn something new about an organization that really touches women. Mm -hmm. People, actually. Men can be victims of abuse, too. Yeah, wow. Well, um, last question. So far, what is your first impression of First Class Night? I would say artistic. 
I'm very impressed with the team here today and the magazine itself. I think it's going to um, really bring a lot to Houstonian and, and showcase our city in that sophisticated way that I was talking about, mm -hmm. that city that we are becoming. Mm -hmm. Well, we're excited that you're part of it I'm as well. I'm thrilled to be a part of it. It's special. Okay, that Great. is it. Okay. Get, you get dressed. All right, my dear. Oh, and if you need any help um, carrying stuff down, I can have okay. somebody on standby ready for you. No, I should be able to get it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.